We saw in the last video we did that transformers are used to change the potential difference of an electricity supply. With step up transformers increasing the potential difference because they have more turns on the secondary coil than on the primary coil, and step down transformers decreasing the potential difference because they have less turns on the secondary coil. In this video, though, we're going to cover how to use these two equations here, which together allow us to figure out exactly how the potential difference and the current vary with the number of turns on each coil. In both equations, V is the potential difference, N is the number of turns on the coil, and I is the current. Then the little P's and S's stand for primary and secondary coil. So VP would mean the input potential difference across the primary coil, while NS would mean the number of turns on the secondary coil. To see how they work, let's try a few questions. A transformer has 18 turns on its primary coil, 54 turns on its secondary coil, and an input potential difference of 45 volts. Calculate its output potential difference. So with these questions, it's best to make a list of what you know and what you're trying to find out. Here, we know that NP, which is a number of turns across the primary coil, is 18. NS is 54. And VP is 45. And we're looking for the output potential difference. So VS, which we could put as a question mark. If you look at our two equations, you can tell that you're going to have to use this first one. Because we don't have any current values. So we can't use the second one. So plugging in what we know, we get 45 over Vs equals 18 over 54. 18 over 54 is just 0 0.33. Then we can rearrange it to get Vs by itself, and then plug it into the calculator to find that Vs must be 135. So our output potential difference must be 135 volts. Let's have a go at the next part of the question. Using this same transformer, if the input current was 12 amps, what would the output current be? So for this one, we've just been told that IP is 12 amps, and we're looking for IS. So this time, we're going to have to use this second equation, which, if we plug in our values, gives us 45 times 12 equals 135 times IS. Then we can divide both sides by 135 to get 45 times 12 over 135 equals IS. And then we put that into our calculator to find that 4 equals IS. So our output current is 4 amps. And that's everything for this video. So hope that was helpful, and we'll see you again soon.